Hello world, Noah here, and welcome to Modern JavaScript. Modern JavaScript is a brand new series where we're going to be taking a look at JavaScript, which is one of the most important languages today. Now this is a different JavaScript than when I first started because I first started doing JavaScript a few years ago and you know I'd have a simple HTML page, uh, maybe some jQuery on there, and I'd just write some JavaScript in a script tag and I'd run it in my browser, nice and simple. But these days, JavaScript is something so much bigger. It's full of packages and precompilers and super languages and, and all sorts of different things. And so we're going to take a look at all of that in this series. Now, I want to be very clear. This series is not going to teach you how to program in Java. My assumption is you already know. The reasoning behind this is because if you already know how to program in a language, then it's really easy to pick up JavaScript. JavaScript syntax looks very similar to a language like Java, uh, and there isn't too much uh, you know, in the later versions of JavaScript that's very different. And the stuff that is very different is stuff that we're going to cover in this series. Now, if you don't already know how to program, I personally believe that JavaScript is not a good first language. I generally recommend Python as a starting language, uh, but if your goal is to learn JavaScript, you might be better off starting with Java because the syntax is uh, fairly similar. Now, in this video, we're just going to uh, take a quick look at some of the things that we'll cover in this uh, series, and basically each thing that we cover will get at least one video uh, all to itself. So we're going to cover all of these topics here. We're going to cover Node.js, which is a JavaScript runtime for servers. So instead of running JavaScript in a browser, you're actually running it on your computer itself. We're going to cover NPM, which is the Node Package Manager. It's pretty similar to uh, pip in Python or Maven for Java, uh, so on and so forth. It basically stores uh, thousands and thousands of packages of code that you can use uh, to enhance your own code. We'll also look at Yarn, which is a package manager built on top of NPM that adds some nice features and convenience. We're going to look at Webpack which allows you to bundle JavaScript and all of your dependencies into small files that you can then distribute. We're going to look at Mocha, which is a testing framework for JavaScript that lets you write unit tests uh, to make sure that your code works how you expect it to. We're going to look at TypeScript, which is a superset of Java that includes types and all of the latest JavaScript features. Uh, it's personally my favorite language. And then finally, after we've covered all of this and even more, we're going to launch into a full series on Angular, uh, which is Google's front-end framework for creating rich, interactive, single-page applications. So this is just a general overview of some of the things uh, that we will cover in this series. I hope you're all excited. Uh, and I just want to ask that you leave behind any preconceived notions that you may have. Uh, because I know that JavaScript doesn't have the best reputation out there, but it is an incredibly important language these days. Uh, more and more things are being done in JavaScript, even beyond the web. Um, and JavaScript has really gotten a lot better uh, than perhaps the last time that you gave it a chance. So, as always, subscribe if you want to see more. Comment with what you're interested in learning about. If there's something on this list that, uh, that you're, that's not on this list that you're interested in learning about, let me know and I can probably add it. And if you like this video, click the like button. I'll see you guys soon with some JavaScript. Bye for now.